Hey man, you reckon you can learn me how to play them drums? Well, welcome back to Diddles and Beats, the part of this channel where I answer your drumming questions. This week's question comes from Geoff on YouTube. He has gotten the opportunity to play in his school's jazz ensemble. I also had this opportunity when I was in high school, and I got hooked on the music. He says he's never played in a jazz ensemble, and he wants to know how to approach working on the material. So I'm going to give you my top three tips for learning to play in a jazz ensemble. Are these the only tips? No. Is there a ton of other things to work on? Yeah. But these will get you started with a good basis for the style. And really, all of these come back to my first point, which is you need to start listening. To be able to play any style authentically, we have to know about that style. And in music, that requires that we do a little bit of research and start getting ourselves accustomed to what is expected of that style. And a big way we can practice away from the kit is listening. In the car, working out, on your way to school, on your way home from school, while you're doing your homework, while you're going to sleep. Seriously, ingest whatever style it is you're trying to learn. Pull out a copy of The Birth of the Cool by Miles Davis, Monin by Art Blakey, Charlie Parker, some old Count Basie big band stuff. I could literally go on for hours listing artists and albums, but the important thing to gain from this is you need to listen. The second thing you need to work on comes directly from listening, and that is you have to swing. Insert corny saying, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Seriously, you have to be able to make this music groove. And for this to groove, you have to have swing. Nobody wants to go to a gig and play with this. But if you go to a gig with something like this, You may just get called back. So to get that swing feel, begin to play along to those songs and those albums that you're listening to. But don't play along and try to copy everything that drummer's doing. I want you to begin to listen very specifically to their ride cymbal. Elvin Jones swings different than Art Blakey, swings different than Roy Haynes, swings different than Sonny Payne, swings different than Tony Williams, swings different than Chris Daddy Dave, swings different than, you get the picture? Every drummer interprets that swing pattern just a little bit differently. And so part of learning the history of that music is going back through those players and listening to how they interpret it. Is it a more triplet bass swing? Is it a more eight note bass swing? Is it a more 16th bass swing? Is he pushing the beat? Is he behind the beat? The fancy schmancy stuff will come later, but none of that matters if you can't make that music swing. My third tip is so closely related to the first, it's not even funny. You have to begin to learn the repertoire that goes along with the jazz idiom. To do this, that's gonna require you to work on some of your reading because you're gonna to need to get something like a real book and you're gonna to need to pick popular songs and begin to learn them, not just learn the name. You have to learn the song. You have to learn the melody. You have to learn what the chord changes sound like. You need to know what form it is. Is it A-A-B-A? -A -A? Is it A-B-A-B? -A -B? You need to learn those songs. So by pulling out a real book, turning on the song by whatever artist you pick that's doing that song, and reading along with those melody lines, you'll begin to learn the heads of the tunes. You don't have to be a great singer. I'm not. You just need to know the notes and rhythms that go along with that standard tune. Now again, this doesn't even touch the tip of the iceberg with what you need to work on with jazz, but this will get you started in learning that style. I'll just leave you with saying the most important thing you can do for learning any style of music is listen. These two things on the side of your head are the most important learning tool that you have. Be sure and tune in on Wednesday for another edition of The Daily Beat where I'll be including some live playing from some gigs here in Nashville I've been doing, as well as on Sunday for another drum lesson. If you need some help with your drumming or you just wanna take it to that next level, follow the link below and take a tour of the members area. See what all I have to offer on the website. As I've told you a ton before, the link is below for your free 30 days to better doubles download. Jump over to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter and hang out with me there. But regardless of what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.